What is going on guys? Thanks for joining my channel Bob and Hood. This is Bob. Today is Monday, September 21st. And today guys, we are going to be talking about my margin trade I did today. Um, I have been waiting for the right opportunity to test this out. And I ended up testing it out on $20,000 of an investment through this margin trade. So before I go over what I did, let me just show you what margins are. So Robinhood margin investing, um, so it's basically money borrowed from a brokerage firm to purchase an investment. So basically a loan with interest. The interest is a daily charge and a monthly payment through Robinhood. So this is how you calculate your daily interest. So you take the amount borrowed times by 5% divided by 360. So this equals the interest amount per day. So I'll give you an example of what I trade that I did. Um, they actually have $20,800 borrowed times 5% divided by 360 equals $2.88 a day. So if you look at this per month, it's $86.66 a month. So it does take a few days to process when you buy it. And then if you do sell it back, um, it does take a few days that way. So when you look at your account, it may show zero for the first couple days. And then even if you sell it back, it may show the charge for the next couple days, even if you don't have the stock. But overall, it balances it out, it equals it out. Um, so I do recommend only selling safe puts with a high chance of profit weekly. I don't recommend holding on for long term because there's so much chance that it could go down or up or not in your favor. And I also recommend picking stocks that could make um, at least double, if not triple, the monthly interest. Because remember, if you're paying $86.66 uh, for the stock and it's not going anywhere and you're buying or you're selling or um, a call or a put, and you're not making at least $86.66 a month, you're still losing money. So let me just show you guys what I actually did. Um, I had been waiting for uh, TQQ uh, to go down, or I was watching TNA as well, but TQQ did get a better premium. Um, so this did go down pretty dramatically off the bat. So it did drop almost 5%. I just waited till the market kind of level out a little bit. So when it went down to about 10, 11, 110, 111, I did do two contracts. They held a collateral of $20,800. So I did do two contracts on a $104 put, which was pretty far away from the strike price. Um, at that time, like I said, it was about six or seven dollars away from it of it already dropping uh, Five dollars. So anytime you want to sell a put in my opinion I always wait until there's a decent or a pretty big drop Because the chances of it to keep on dropping and keep on dropping and keep on dropping to me is less likely um, To do that than to be up five percent and then you're thinking it's going to go up another five or ten percent if you're selling a put so so far this has turned out pretty well i've made over 56 percent return on it at 354 dollars in a day most likely what i will do um, i will see how the day goes but i don't see this going below 104 by 925 um, so i think i'm just especially for my first um, margin trade uh, i think i would just let this expire collect the full uh, money on this should be $630 just for this week and then see how Monday goes um, and if Monday is a negative day I probably would just do it over again but so far it's still looking good like I said my break even point is going to be at 30 I mean $86 um, yeah $86 here and then just going back to this recommending stocks that could make at least double or triple so when I do say that if you do look at a stock like AT&T which is a pretty sideways stock they don't really go up don't really go down too too much um, it's a safe dividend play but if you look at the options here so if you want to sell put even if you go to 2750 it's only about a dollar lower than what it's at really making five dollars um, five dollars per option so if I still use my $20,800 divided by $2,750 would be, I could do seven options with this. You times that by five, 
that's $37 a week that I can do on this. So if I did it four times a week, it'd be $151. That's a safe bet, uh, but just for borrowing that much money, that's not really the money that I'm looking out of it, holding $20,000 for that long. So if you mess up one week and it doesn't go well, then you're already broken even if not in the hole. So I did like Robinhood because they have a flat rate of 5%. If you look at the margin rates here, um, Interactive Broker uh, is a flat rate of 2.7%. M1 Finance is 3.5% flat rate, which is good, but I'm not really a fan of M1 Finance just because the trading times are a little bit less and you'd have to pay a premium to um, extend it to normal hours. Uh, I would say Weeblo would probably be the uh, next one that I would like. But if you look at the interest rates, just for lower money, zero to 5,000, you're looking at 7% to 6%. And then even here on the more higher end, uh, E-Trade and Swab, you're looking at almost nine and a half, almost 10%. So just off percentage of borrowing such little money, um, I do recommend just the Robinhood just because it seems more um, easier just to navigate. So like I said, if we go through tr triple Q, T triple Q here, you look at the options. When I did pick this, it was at about 110 or 111. So like I said, I did pick the strike price here. So I'll put, I did pick a strike price at 104. So like I said, I have two contracts. Um, so right now my chance of profit is 83.44%. I think it was at 75% at that time. And the premium right now is at $138. I got $315 per contract. I have two contracts. So, so far, so good. Um, like I said, I'll probably wait till this expires. See how Monday goes. If Monday is a red day, I would just do it all over again. I usually will pick a 5 to $8 um, difference, just lower, just to see how it goes. Um, and then just see what the premium is. But a lot of times I'll wait until the first 30 minutes, maybe an hour, just to see how the market is heading. A lot of times it might shoot in red or shoot in green and shoot back out. Um, but that's what I'm going to do next week, guys. So starting on Friday, I will make a spreadsheet on TQQ. But like I said, I'm keeping an eye on TNA as well. But TQQ right now, premium-wise, um, was almost, I think, 40% more paying out than I would have got from going with TNA at the moment. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you didn't like what you see, just hit the subscribe button, guys. I'm trying to get to my 100 subscriptions. Comment below and hit the like button. Have a good day, guys.